I'm going to talk about how to adjust your Primavera program. And before we start, I just want to uh, tell you just two notes. First is there are too many ways to do this. As I told you, I couldn't find too many uh, sources to uh, link between the Primavera and Power BI. So this is my own way. I'm not saying this is the best way. I'm saying this is just my own way and I promise you it works. However, if any one of you uh, can find any better way, so please share it with me and we can brainstorm together and we can get a better way. So let's start. So what is the information needed from the Primavera? I take the overall summary. I take the task tables, either from the baseline or the update. I take the activity codes. I take the resources, either from the baseline or the update. And I take the S-curve. So there are five steps that we are going to take in order to finalize this uh, database. So first we will adjust the codes, then we will adjust the resources, then we will adjust the PMS, the progress measurement system. And after that, we will take all the summary uh, information, the tasks, the resource layout, adjust all this layout, and we'll export the data to the Excel. So we'll start with adjust the codes. Let's jump to the uh, Primavera. So I have three programs. I have the baseline. I have, I choose just two updates, uh, one in October 13, and the other one is in May 14. If we open uh, the baseline, for example, this is the baseline. I just want to show you the activity codes. These are the activity codes that I uh, use. This is the CSI division, concrete, machinery, metal, wood, and plastic, thermal, finishing, sanitary, mechanical, electrical, all type of electrical. So this is the CSI. The discipline, we have architectural structure, firefighting, HVAC, plumbing, facade, low current, low voltage. Okay. And we have floor number. So all floors starting from the basement up to the uh, 19th or 20th floor. I, say, I remember. Yeah, 20. And we have the hotel areas, back house, utilities, front house, guest room, tower three, guest room, tower four. The kitchen, the elevations, the restaurants, and the tower number, uh, the tower numbers, we have three towers and the zone number. So these are the activities. So before we go, uh, I just have very important note. So I you have to apply this is again, this is my own way. You have to apply all the codes in all activities. So don't leave anything in blank. So here, these are the construction activities. You can see here that there are values in all activities. So if you can see here, all values, uh, all are codes that have values in all activities. So nothing blank. So this is very important because later on, when we use these codes in the Power BI, I don't want to find a lot of blanks. So if you find something that apply for all, you can put a general. So don't leave something blank. So step number two is how to adjust your resources. This is as any normal program. Just let's jump to the resources. This is my resources. I have labor resources, material resources. Okay. And if we go, for example, to resource assignments, let me open this layout. Yeah, this one. Okay. And so this is the resources that we are going to take to Power PI. Okay. So I'm taking only some material resources. I'm taking also the progress measurement system. So I just, I made filter for this station. Okay. So what else we have? Yeah, adjust the PMS. For the PMS, there are too many ways to calculate the progress percentage. However, in my uh, project, we agreed with the client that we will assign a weight and we call it PMS, Progress Measurement System, and we pre-agreed this the budget of each activity, okay, with the client. So this is, we are using this as a weight for to measure the progress. So if we go to the Primavera, here, let me show you the activities, yeah. So in any activity, if you go to resources, you will find that I assign this resource as PMS and I, I pre-agree the budget units with the client. So in any activity, you will find the budget here. 
and you will find this resource with the budget. So this budget is pre-agreed with the client and I'm using this as a way to calculate the progress. So I assign the payments in all the activities. Okay, yeah, uh, look, uh, I will let me continue in the next session because I don't want to, the session to be more than seven minutes. So uh, next session, we will, I will show you how to adjust the layouts and to export the data to Excel.